So what's the connection between the 19th century Impressionists hanging here in the National Gallery in Edinburgh and a 21st century Impressionist like me? Well, on the face of it, apart from the name, not a lot. They're painters fascinated by orchards and fields and rivers, and I'm a comedian fascinated by people, particularly politicians. And so here, in this early picture by Daubigny, we see a classical scene, a lady gathering wheat in a field. And yet, in the distance, what's this? We dabs of paint and colour. You know, it's not even trying to be real. It's just kind of laid on with a trowel. The critics hated it. They said, what's going on? You've not even finished the painting. But it's on the horizon. It's coming towards us. It's something different, and it's something revolutionary. <coughs> and here's why. 25 years later, the same painter, Daubigny, again, it's a scene from nature, the wee sheep here in the foreground. And there they are, the wee daubs of paint. But look at the sky. It's different. That's not a classical sky. It's not about realism. It's about atmosphere. As Emile Zola said, it's the soul of nature that speaks to you. You can feel the silent quivering of evening and the last sounds of the fields as they fall asleep. So it's not like a finished picture. It's almost like a sketch, like an impression. And you think, where have I seen that sky before? Money. And that's where he got it from. And sure enough, eight years later, Monet knocks out this wee picture called Sunset on the River Seine at Lavacour. And you can see the sky. It reminds you of that Daubigny we saw a minute ago. The wee stabbing effects, the use of colour. It's no longer that kind of naturalistic thing. We're moving into the world of sketching and impressionism. And it's rivers again. They loved rivers. They loved rivers, the impressionists. In fact, Monet did a lot of paintings by the River Thames at Westminster. A parliament, in fact, a parliament. He, he captured those fleeting moments when things change because the light changes. But you could see in this sky how painting itself was changing as well. And with these skies, we're definitely on the Monet. Both Daubigny and Monet were fascinated by rivers. They painted them all the time. In fact, Daubigny painted rivers so realistically, they used to draw cartoons of people diving into his paintings. And here, with Monet, you can see a river painting with a boat. Daubigny started this off. Daubigny loved painting rivers so much that he actually, he built a wee boat, is what he did. He got a wee boat so he could be in the middle of the river. And Monet did the same thing. And I think it's extraordinary, isn't it? So they got, you know, they were both, what you could say, because Daubigny had a boat and Monet had a boat. So they were both uh, in the same boat together, except it wasn't uh, the same boat and, um, and they weren't together. But my point still stands. And here it is, the wee boat in this painting over here. And what we notice, there they are on the river painting Monet. This is 1876 now. And again, it's changed, it's moved on because we've got a brighter palette, brighter colors, a different effect, very, very atmospheric, very impressionistic. But if Daubigny was the precursor of impressionism and Monet was an impressionist, this, He's leading us on to post-impressionism. Because where have you seen those colours before? Where have you seen those effects before? I know. Van Gogh. Van Gogh was born 30 years after Daubigny, and yet really admired his style, the way that he moved from a classical interpretation of nature to something which had more truth, more truth to life, where the palette was different, where the technique was different. A technique, as we saw, taken on by Monet, the use of stabbing movements, the use of a palette knife. And of course, this then reaches its highest point in the work of Van Gogh, who so admired Daubigny that he came to see Daubigny's house here at Auvers and asked Daubigny's widow if he could paint Daubigny's house. So it's kind of a homage, really, and it takes us full circle from that very early classical painting with the first appearance of those extraordinary colours and that extraordinary technique through Monet to Van Gogh. And I love that. What's my impression? I think they're brilliant. <laughs>